Um, it was a good day. Um, shot the ball well, clearly. Um, got what we wanted to out of this one, and, and uh, now it's time to get ready for league play. So I'm um, excited about that, like where we are. Um, and uh, it's got to be full steam ahead from here. I'll start with Estelle, obviously kind of in a bigger role this year. Uh, just kind of what's your mentality when you're on the court? I think that uh, something that is very important is to bring that um, energy up the bench and just like making sure that we know where we're at. Um, just talking to them, making sure that they're comfortable. Just being, if I see somebody is on their head, it's just like, hey, you got this. Like, we're, good. we're okay. We're fine. And just coming up the bench and bringing that energy. I think and that's kind of my role. And then kind of going off that, uh, obviously to start the year pretty good from the shooting wise, uh, just what do you think has been a big reason for that hot start? Uh, I think that I've got um, a lot more comfortable with my shot, just coming into the gym, working with our coaches, even in practice, just feel more comfortable just shooting it and just stepping up and taking those shots, just thing just for practice. And then for Brady, kind of, you know, Estelle's been here a while. What's it kind of been like to see your progression into this year? Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool to watch her turn 30 um, while she was here. So, I mean, she's been here, she's been here a while, that's for sure. But, um, you know, I, I, I think, again, you know, she's, knock on wood, she's healthy. Um, you're seeing it um, with the way she's playing. Um, but, but really, for me, I love seeing her um, kind of take that, you know, coach in the locker room mentality. I, I see her all the time in practice, walking over to a kid, whether it's a pat on the back or whether it's a kick in the butt. Um, I think she's starting to see um, sometimes what it was like to coach her when she was young, and they don't want to hear it, even though you need to say it. Um, and she's starting to see that, uh, that side of it. But, um, uh, you know, I, I trust her to tell our kids what to do and how to do it because I think her basketball IQ has always been really good. But, um, you know, she's really looking at it from a very selfless place right now. You know, she wants everybody to play at their best and she's trying to do everything she can to do it. And then she's playing well. So um, it's fun to see, it's good to see. And, and uh, you know, you, you hear coaches all the time talk about um, how important roles are on teams, you know, and, and you know, Everybody can't always be the leading scorer, and everybody can't always be the leading rebounder, and everybody can't always be, you know, on the front page of the newspaper. Um, but man, like we're sitting here with two kids that are absolutely starring in their roles um, at a high level, you know, and, and like this one could start, right? But she's so important for us in the role she plays. Like I, I did start her, and I'm like, yeah, I don't like it because I missed what she brings. We missed what she brought, you know, and she gets it. She would like to, but she's good, right? Um, and, and this one's the same way, you know? And, and so to have two super seniors that really just understand um, how important what they do um, in their roles, um, it, it's, it's the reason we're able to be as successful as we are, because um, you got my in at the highest level with these two. And then for Annie, obviously, uh, kind of one-sided score, but how are you able to just stay focused even though it kind of is a blowout? Um, I think it's just about knowing that we hold ourselves to certain standards and continuing to strive for those no matter who or how the game is going, you know. And then Brady just said, you know, you guys being super seniors, been around the program for a while. Uh, do you think there's anything unique about this team this year going into Mac play? I mean, I feel like we have a lot of experience, you know, like our core group right now is like getting older. Like to me, it feels like, you know, like our starters are still freshmen, but I mean, we're all older now, so <laughs> got to kind of lock in on like that. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe. Um, so yeah, I think we bring a lot of experience and, you know, a lot of this group has been there before, so it makes me feel good about going into conference play. And for Brady, obviously wrapping up conference, I mean, non-conference play, uh, where do you think the team can improve going into the MAC? Um, I mean, I, I, I think it's almost across the board. Um, I don't think we've hit our ceiling yet, um, which is exciting. Um, you know, I, I think uh, we're, we're, we're close to having a game or two where everybody's making shots. Um, you know, I, I think we're a little bit loose with the ball. Um, 
you know, and I want them to play aggressive and I want them to play free. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes we, we lose a little bit of focus, you know, a game like that where, you know, it's 600 to two and, you know, like kid throws a ball like off the tuba section, like you don't want that as a coach. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think some places like that, and, and I think, you know, we've shown an ability to rebound the ball. We, we've yet to consistently rebound the ball. And, and I think if we'll consistently go rebound the ball, um, not just like when we have to, not just, you know, when we've decided, oh man, I better. Um, if we'll just do it, and that'll become part of our identity, um, I think that would get us closer to that ceiling than maybe any other stat. And then more on the game, I know you guys uh, were in the full court press for a majority of the game. What was kind of just the reasoning behind that? Because that's how we play. I mean, like if we were a zone team, we'd have come out in zone. So, I mean, all these all these kids on our team, like they practice and they want to get reps and the whole thing. So, like I'm going to put them in and change the way we play? No, I'm not. So, um, it, it, it's just the way we play. So, I mean, like w w am I going to like, hey, quit shooting threes. Hey, hey, like, don't go get fouled. I mean, that's craziness. So I owe it to them when they come in the game to play the way that we play. So it's plain and simple. So um, and I don't really give a shit who likes it. Talking about those players kind of coming in the game, uh, why is that, how, how is that just so beneficial to the program as a whole? Well, because, like, their number is going to get called and we're going to need them at some point. Um, we, we don't know when, you know. Um, and it, it might be foul trouble. It, it might be, you know, who knows what, right? Um, and, and they're good players, you know? Um, the, the tough part for those guys, um, you know, they're walking into a team that um, is, is seasoned, you know? And, and there's, like, there's seven seniors and juniors that have been there and done it. And, okay, like, where's the playing time for – you know, well, it's coming, you know, so it, I, I would have liked to have gotten more minutes, but, you know, we played a schedule that you, you just can't expect that. Um, you know, you, you, you go play the schedule we have, and, I mean, it's every single possession has mattered, um, especially here over the last month. So, um, you know, to see them come in and, and all of them um, play comfortable and, and, you know, do what we do and, um, you know, continue to score the ball, um, you know, and, and the unfair part about it today was, you know, we had them a little bit out of position just to get all five of them out there. Um, and so, you know, we had some guards having to guard, you know, um, the, the big kid and, and, you know, but, but they competed and, and they do it every day. So I don't think any of us were surprised because we see it every day. So um, definitely, uh, definitely good. And, and, you know, they, they've earned that time. Um, and so it, it was good to get them out there. They'll, they'll be able to work off some film now um, and, and see some good and, and some things that uh, they, they can improve on. And like you said, I mean, you never know when, um, when your number's gonna be called. And I think so many times, and, and like these guys have kind of been there, like so many times, like in your own head, you talk yourself into, I'm not gonna play and it done blah, blah, blah. And like all of a sudden I go, let's go. And you're not ready. <laughs> and you know, it's like, well, I told you. Um, and, and so now, you know, hopefully it can motivate them to be ready. Um, and I think, I do think a couple of them are closer to being able to play regularly mm -hmm. than maybe they even think. Um, and so um, hopefully, uh, a game like today can can get them a little bit of confidence, and, and when we need them, they can come in and play the same way they did today. And Estelle, I know you kind of hinted at like the tough non-conference, you know, UConn Notre Dame. How do you think the games like that have kind of helped you guys when you guys are going to kind of this clean slate in the MAC? I think that those uh, we play against those teams because I think we deserve it and we can prove what we we've been working on and I think it's a chance for us to like see what we're at as a team and like what we can bring on the table. So I think those those games give us a lot of experience and a lot of things that we can work on and get better at. Uh, I love playing those kind of games. We deserve it. We are a team that can be up there and we want
worked on it every day. So uh, I think that gives us the uh, experience and the the thought of like, okay, we've competed against these two teams that they're up there. They're they're really good teams. So like, we can go our, now in our conference and like show what we've, what we've like worked on and uh, got from those kind of games. I said for me, you got 